Hi everyone, this isn't usually my gig, but I uh, feel honored to do this today with all the exciting things that are going on with you and I, coaches and teams. So happy to be here and talk a little bit about what the divers did last week at the NCAA zone qualification meet. Um, you know, this is this has been a tremendous year for you and I swimming and diving and for them to extend their season beyond conference is just one more chance for us to go out and show what we can do against some of the best divers in the country. Um, we stepped up against 56 women, um, 56 divers on the competition met. We had 25 to 30 minutes between each dive that we did. So something very new for us when you compare that to 13 to 14 girls at the conference meet. Um, this was a huge challenge, but I think Sa or Sarah Kemp and Ali Bay definitely showed up and um, our goal this year was really just to do the best dives that we could do um, to the best of our ability and uh, they definitely did that and we improved. We did improve actually uh, with a couple dives that they were really hoping to do better that they kind of missed a little bit at the conference meet. So although the scores don't always show that when you go to the next level because the competition is a lot greater, so the scores do follow that and the judging becomes a little bit tougher as well. So we were really happy to uh, you know, be able to step up against the most elite divers in the country and show what we were capable of. With that, we'll take any questions. <laughs> How did, how did they score? How, how did they rate in, the, in their depth? Yeah, so uh, with those 56 girls, Sarah was 49th and Allie was 47th on one meter. And then three meters, Sarah was 40th, which is actually the best place finish we've ever had on the three meter um, side of things. And then Allie was 46th. So um, like I said, the scoring with their total scores doesn't compare to what they've done in the season, just because at that NCAA level, the judging becomes extremely more difficult. Um, tough to get those higher scores there. We're going to be some of the divers coming back to next season's team that might help anchor some of those positions. Yeah, so we have Hannah Bremel, who will be a junior next year, and then Alyssa Duso, who will be a sophomore. We actually have a red shirt, um, Emma Billerbeck, who will be um, actually a senior next year. She came in last year and has red shirted this year training with us and has really done a great job. She was um, an NCAA quali uh, zone qualifier when she was at Ryder, um, so we're anxious to have her on the team next year to sort of take over that leadership position where we're losing Allie and Sarah. Anything else? All right, thanks for having me, guys.